Hey guys, welcome back to Feather and Down Homestead. Uh, me and this fella down here, Jasper, uh, we're going to go down on the tractor. We're going to take some um, potting mix and um, we're going to pot up some plants and we might move some ducks. Um, see if Bruno's still escaped and um, show you guys what we've been up to down there. Um, and hopefully it doesn't rain on us again. So, um, yeah, see you guys soon. So me and Jasper are down here in the in the greenhouse and um, he's just emptying some pots for us. We're going to actually be um, using these big um, root trainers and we've got some bags as well um, which we're going to put up these um, abyssias or uh, brush wattles. Um, they are nitrogen fixing trees for our food forest. Uh, very controversial but um, just because they're spread real easily, but it's kind of uh, what we want in the food forest. We want nitrogen fixing trees, and um, yeah, the big trick to syntropic um, agroforestry is the management. So you can use invasive species as long as you manage them properly. So that's basically what we're doing, is we're managing them properly. So we're gonna pot them up. They're gonna probably be planted out in spring. Um, so we're going to do that and then see what else we're going to get up to. So me and Jasper have finished um, putting the albizias and um, potting them up. Um, so these will most probably be planted out at spring. But um, we're sort of testing them out with the root trainers and just the normal pots. And uh, I think I overdid it with um, with these bag pots over here. So I don't think I need to go that extreme. But um, we're trialing them, seeing what happens. And um, yeah, now we're gonna move some ducks. So the ducks are here, um, we just moved them one stage up, the only problem is I don't have uh, water here, so I will need to um, get a water tub from up the top, bring it here and we'll have to fill that up for them, um, and Jasper's just going to get a, a food bin for them so we don't have to keep hauling chicken food from the top, but um, looks like they're full because he's running back. Are they full? They're full What of what? Okay, full of plastic crap from the compost. Okay, uh, that's right. We'll grab one from up the top. Um, so yeah, as you can see, those banana trees 
a pretty massive, pretty lush, dark green. And these ones over here are pretty uh, small and manky looking. Um, so hopefully these ducks are going to give me free fertilizer, like you've seen in a couple of videos ago. Um, I think the trick is just don't leave them in one spot too long. Um, or else they will just modify it, like really modify it. So um, I'm going to rotate them through this little banana patch and um, see how we go. And uh, yeah, big bananas. So we're going to go up for some uh, morning tea or lunch probably by now. Um, Theo yesterday, as you uh, might not know, we had to take him to the hospital. So um, we were up there till about three in the morning. So we're pretty tired this morning and we probably woke up like 10 o'clock. Um, and so now it's about lunchtime. So we're gonna go up and get some lunch and then we might come down and see what else um, we can do today while it's not raining. <laughs> Back from lunch, full tummy. Um, I've got some uh, a water trough here, so I'm just going to fill that up. And I have um, I found a food bin, which I'm going to put in, and um, then it's much easier for the kids that don't have to pick it up from the the chicken food. We can just chuck it straight in here. So I'm um, going to do that, and then I'm going to go uh, do some work on the aviary. Right, they're all happy with their uh, water and food. Um, so now I'm going to try to do a little bit of work in the aviary. Um, the other day we actually did do a little bit of work. Um, first we had to get rid of a few uh, wasp nests, um, which probably wasn't the best method of um, getting rid of them. Um, but anyway, it did work. And um, the kids had to clear all the stuff out of the, the aviary. So when we took the roof down, it didn't... Um, destroy everything that was in there and get rained on and what have you because it's been a lot of rain um, so while I was stripping the roof um, they were in there clearing out hay putting the hay into the um, chicken pen and and then they had to put some other rubbish in that on the tractor and while that was going on Debs was burning some cardboard and um, for our compost heap and all the kids were helping out and I was um, basically stripping the aviary, um, the tin on the roof. So I got about three quarters of the way done. And um, hopefully now I'm going to do the last quarter and get that done. But um, yeah, we got quite a lot done the other day. So um, yeah, and the only other thing probably we have been doing is uh, up, up the top there, we've been doing some, um, some firewood from the pile. Um, got a splitter from my old man. Um, and we had me, my old man, and my um, boy Jasper. So it was like three generations doing firewood. So that was quite cool. And we've got quite a big um, pile going up there. I was doing the chainsawing. Um, and Dad and Jasper were on the log splitter. So that was quite cool. But let's get into um, getting some more of this roof down, eh? Before it rains on me. Definitely not the best roof to uh, be walking over. It's sort of half rotten. Reason being why we're going to put some more slats of wood um, sideways across the savory. Um, but it's not too far to fall, it's only about two meters. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this here. This here is what I've got left to do. So, one, two, three, four, about five pieces of tin. And then I've, I've sort of got to take the netting off to our berry patch over there. Um, but nothing's got berries at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. Once all the plastic's over, I'll be putting it all back up, but um, yeah, for now I'm going to strip this and hopefully I find no more wasp nests and get stung. <laughs> okay, so that's the rest of the roof down. There's some sort of nest down here. 
I don't really know if it's a rat's nest or a um, bird's nest, but um, yeah, this is the, the aviary. This is the aviary down here. So um, I've still got a bit of work to get this wall down, get these grape plants back in there. Um, I've still got to strip all these walls, and uh, yeah, there's tons of work. So I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Um, might hone into a bit more tomorrow, but for today I'm done. So um, basically, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Look out. Okay, for you hardcore fans um, who are still watching, um, the kids here, I've gone and planted some stuff in the garden and there is a ton of caterpillars. So what I've um, got the kids doing is they're going to pick the caterpillars and put them in the ice cream containers, some sort of uh, challenge that we're doing. And for each caterpillar they get and feed to the chickens, they will get uh, one M&M. So... Um, they're quite uh, enjoying this challenge and normally I spray this with BT spray but it's been way too wet so um, this is the best organic way right so they're gonna get into it these guys here okay guys so here's the caterpillars they're right inside here on the leaves eating the cab in the eating the cabbages most of them are green but there is some army worms in there as well so you guys pick away see how much you can get there's a whole garden remember not just these plants Okay, Jasper, how much do you have in here? 42! Okay, Matura, how much have you got? 27. Raven, how much have you got? 14. Uh, and Adina and Theo in here got 37 all up. So um, Adina and Theo have gone up, um, Theo's had enough, um, and so now we're going to feed them to the chickens. Okay, so that's finally a wrap. Luke, out. Tilda, out. Nathan, out. Jasper, out.